Okay, Wendy. Um, well, first of all, let me explain to anyone who watches this. I'm doing this as a favor for Wendy. Uh, she asked me very nicely in an email, and I, I really, and I, as, I, as I told Wendy, um, I don't want to get into this thing where I will do a read for anyone who asks. Um, I've got a lot of reasons for not wanting to do that. Uh, sometimes you get a feel. And, and there are even other people that I, I, I wish I could read for because I get a sense that there's a, a few that haven't gotten a reading who probably could really use one. Uh, and this this is a conundrum for me because if I, you know, I've seen it happen to other people on here and that's why I limit my reads. Uh, you, you don't want to get into a point where you have a long list of people and it becomes a chore and it's hard to get things done in a way and, and then there's also, and you know, I'm a human being too there's, it's nice when I get people complimenting me and I'm, and again, I'm doing this for my own growth and development uh, but there's a, a side of me that says I, I want to put, I don't want to go professional at the same time I want to be more available to people who need, who feel they need reads, and, and who feel that they can be helped by having a read. So I've been trying to find a compromise, um, and and this is not going to happen today. You know, it could be a few weeks from now. Uh, but what I think I'm I'm going to look at setting myself up in such a way that I will do reads for donations of any amount, and there's going to be some rules that go with that um, and I'm, I don't want to cross the line on this site because I don't want to be disrespectful to Michelle uh, or you know and break any rules or do anything of that nature but I, I do want to just you know any ideas that anyone would like to put forth and how I can construct this uh, but it'll be an online thing and it'll be available through like Skype or just through the way that I do them now with uh, a video uh, and it's going to be a um, based on what someone has to offer. So if, you know, someone is in a, like I was in a situation months ago, where you're selling your blood for grocery money, you know what, I, what the hell, you're, you're going to, you know, I'm not going to expect anything. Uh, but I'm also going to list what these kinds of things go for, and it'll just be up to the person being read to voluntarily, you know, send something, and it won't be done here, and it won't be through this site. Um, and I'm wanting to know how to set that up. So anyone who has ideas, who, th who thinks that they might know how to make that work to the benefit of everybody. And the main reason, you know, not only do I want something back other than, you know, pleasant compliments, which are wonderful, this also is going to eliminate the frivolous uh, reads. It's going to eliminate people who um, are just curiosity seekers, you know, and people who just want to get something for free. And at the same time, you know, will make me more available because you won't have to wait for a contest or a raffle or something uh, to get a read from me. And, you know, I, I just know what would happen if I just set myself up to, to do reads for anyone for free. I just know, I just don't, can't see it going that way. So this is what I'm going to try and set up in the future. Anyone who wants to make suggestions, by all means, um, maybe you'll think you've thought of something I haven't. So uh, I'll be working on that and when I do come up with something you'll have to find out about it through another site this is the last time I'll mention that here uh, other than through any text discussion that we have on this and this particular discussion thread and then you'll just have to find me elsewhere to get any more details all right that being said um, this was a really really interesting read for me Wendy um, And there's some issues here that I'm going to say for the last. I'd like to get them out of the way first, but I, I, let's just say that it looks like you've had enough. It looks like you've, 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 you're, you're past the point of having had enough. You're past the point of being in the wrong kind of relationships or having the wrong kind of interactions. Um, and you're looking for a situation that has more direction and you're working on finding that direction, hasn't happened yet. You haven't figured it out yet. But you've been working on it, and you've been trying to think in new ways. 
and to solve your, your, your situation. Uh, and, and once again, it's interesting because some of the same cards that came up in the last read, and I shuffled them, and I shuffled them, and I did a lot of, did everything that I do, and it's interesting when there are 78 cards, you know, you do a, do a six, an eight card spread, and three of the same cards come up. It's just, you know, I, 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 that was almost to the point because of that, and because every card in here come up reverse, and a lot of other crazy stuff, I, I almost... You know, as one of my books has suggested, um, says that sometimes the cards are just cr are just crazy with what they come up with, and you just are better off to just start over. I don't believe in that. I've really not been in a situation where you know I, I'd rather sit and focus on the cards, and that's what happened here because it's it's really been. And if that's an indication, if that's an indication of what your situation is, and you're in a very complex situation, you're in a situation that's not really clear. And as and I've had and I've had some of that come up. You're you're, um, and what you you need, like I say, you 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 were what your your wanting is for that that storybook romance, and what you're needing to do is learn that you have to to forage through the rough. Uh, jungle, so to speak. You know what you're, 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 you're kind of expecting it to happen, but it looks like you're in a situation where you're going to have to work hard to try and make it happen, which is contradictory in these things. Because usually, you know, and, and the thing that you, the, everyone tells you is, well, it's when you forget about trying to find someone. That's when they just magically appear. Well, I don't know if that's true or not. Um, it seems to me there's some work on yourself that you have to do, or just some work on your environment, either or. But it seems to me that you, you, it's almost the, just the, the feeling I get is like cutting through the jungle with a machete, you know, to, until you get to the clear. And what you have to offer your partner is perspective. I I, I get the feeling that it's been a, it's a situation where you've been through the school of hard knocks, and when you find this partner, the one thing that is going to be, um, the thing they're going to respect a lot about you is this, the, is, is you have a perspective that is going to mesh with what they're wanting and they're going to see a lot in you because of that. And the, uh, the final card is for the outcome for the love spread of the Ten of Wands reversed. So it looks like, you know, as I say, you know, you are trying to find direction. Well, that being reversed indicates to me that you are going to find it. You are going to, you know, you are going to break through that rough terrain. It's going to, you know, you're going to come into the clear. And I pulled a couple more cards, and this is where it got very, very complex for me. Uh, it would be wonderful if anyone who had a, uh, a a gay sexual orientation would tell me up front. Now, I don't know that you do, and I'm not saying that you do. But what ends up happening is a lot of times the cards have feminine and masculine uh, aspects to them. Well, people have feminine and masculine aspects to them as well. So not knowing what your sexual orientation is... I do get the feeling that there's going that there's uh, your partner is going to have some level of androgyny, and I get that it's either um, it's either that you are gay and that it's going to be a woman coming into your life, or it's going to be a man who has a certain androgynous aspects about him, and it's going to be and and when I say that. You know, um, that's all right too, because it, it could be an indication that he's got his feminine energy down. And someone said that to me once. Um, that told you about that that witch that I had. Well, I don't want to go into how what the level of our relationship was, uh, but um, she had said to me that she thought that I focused on studying masculinity so much was because I had the feminine aspect of myself mastered and coming from anyone else I would have taken that as an insult um, but I, I knew how she meant it 
And so when I see the cars that have come up here, it's going to be someone who's is got an aspect of androgyny and who also is really freed from uh, material limits. They're not going to be a money oriented type of person. They're going to be someone who kind of sees past the BS of materialism. So uh, it looks like that's the direction things are going to be going. Um, and when I tried to do the intuitive thing, there's something about I saw someone with this really big smile. Um, maybe uh, someone who's also, uh, uh, you know, a little hefty. Uh, but it was the smile, this this, this incredible grin um, with very, very nice teeth that for some reason I flashed on. And, um, well, you'll have to tell me if, you know, if if that means anything to you. This is why I prefer to do these things on Skype because sometimes people, I can get immediate feedback and then we can move forward with that. But, uh, okay, real quick recap. Um, yeah, yeah, it's like Popeye said, you had all you can stands, you can't stands no more. But you've been past that. You're you're looking for the direction. Um, it's like everybody wants that that storybook romance, but you've got to cut through, cut through the rough areas. You've got a perspective on on life and on uh, love through uh, your history that is going to be meaningful in your relationship. Um, you're going to come into the clear. Your the any blocks or things that you you don't have are going to dissipate, and there is going to be some. I say this person who is kind of, you know, I get a point that there, there, there's going to be certain spiritual aspects to them uh, and a certain androgyny, certain balance of the two sexual energies, and they're going to be free of, of a lot of uh, the materialist traps that people have. So let me know how this works out. Thank you so much. And again, I want to reiterate, anyone who um, has a solution as to how I can somehow work out a... Um, a means of doing these, uh, and, and like I say, I'll once I start this, I won't be doing them on this site, um, so I won't bring it up again. But any suggestions on how I could set up what some people call gift reads or donation reads, uh, that you know, how I could set that up ethically, how I can set that up in a way that will will make me more available to people, but at the same time, not have me sitting, you know, putting lots of time into doing reads and and just you know when you know there are other things I need to take care of in my life um, any ideas are welcome okay thank you